Hey, what's going on? This is the Confidence Magnet. Here with another great video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to be more effective at setting and achieving your goals. For those of you out there who are big procrastinators, I myself have that problem from time to time. This is a video for you. So without further ado, let's get it. So why people don't achieve their goals? People expect to achieve outrageous goals in the littlest time frame. There are people who would like to actually lose 100 pounds in 10 days. Are you fucking kidding me? Not only is that impossible, but you actually endanger your health. So you want to make sure that you're realistic about your goals. That's a big, big factor. Be strategic with your goal. If you want to accomplish a goal, you must make sure you're ready and willing to put in the time and effort to do so. It's just something that, if it's just something that you would like to casually do, you may not want to make it into a major goal. So if you want to learn a foreign language, but you don't feel the need to learn a foreign language or a specific foreign language, then don't make it into one of your goals. You, you could do it probably as something on the side, but don't make it into, okay, this is the goal that I want to accomplish at this time and this thing, and this is how much time and effort I want to put into it. So it might be just something you want to do casually. You got to decide if it's a big priority or something that is at the back of your mind that you really don't want to do, but you just want to say that you want to do it. Goals should be realistic. You want to... You want your goals to be doable and realistic. By saying you're going to save $100,000 in 20 years, it's very doable if you have a solid plan to make it happen. So let's say that you want to save about $5,000 a year over a 20-year period. That's very doable. You actually make more than $100,000. You probably make about $120,000 at that rate. Have a big goal and focus on the mini goals. The best way to accomplish a big goal is by breaking it down into smaller goals. Focus on the smaller goals because they should be easy to accomplish. If you have mini goals, let's go back to the $100,000 a year. If you say, okay, my mini goal is to make an extra $125 a week. That right there, over a one-month period, that's $500 a month times times 10 months, that's $5,000. If you go by 12 that's $6,000 a month. So it's very doable. That little mini goal, it actually puts you ahead of the game. A mini goal should be somewhat easy. The more goals you accomplish, the more momentum you get accomplishing your bigger goal. You even outdo yourself by accomplishing your goal with enough momentum. So you might actually accomplish that goal early. So let's say that, like I said before, that $100,000, you probably achieved that in less than... Um, 20 years it might be in about 19 years or 18 years or something like that you might even cut the time to have because you might switch jobs you might get um, side projects more side projects you might be able to make more money um, with small investments you might have a side um, business anything can happen during that time period so don't say okay at this rate I'm never going to get it done because things change and sometimes you actually outdo yourself Think about the best course of action and write it down. Writing down a checklist is a good way to knock out your goals. If you, not, if you look at it on a regular basis, you will have it in the front of your mind to knock it out. So one of my goals for you guys is to create a ton of content so I can be an authority channel in what I do. So I'll say my thing is about building confidence for men. I have a male audience, so my, conf- my, my, my audience, they want to learn how to build confidence and achieve great things for their life. So that's my goal. I want to be an authority in that space. Goal achieving takes practice. You may fail a mil- you may fail a million times before you achieve your goal. Just remember that it's not about the goal itself. It's sometimes about the journey. You may not achieve one goal, but achieve a breakthrough. So let's say that this is a girl that you like. So you learn how to you learn from this channel how to get a girl that you like. So you learn not be shy, be while going. Um, if you're a nice guy, how to go about being a nice guy, get respect from day one, stuff like this, things like this. It helps you get the girl. But let's say that the specific girl, she doesn't like you in that way. She, you're not her type. But you went through the journey and now you know how to get women. And let's say down the road, you meet another woman who she's similar to the other girl, but she might be she might be either similar or she might be a little bit better than the last girl that you liked. She might be more attractive. She might be more um, giving. She might be more attracted to you. So you actually get something better by achieving by by goal setting and going through the journey. 
patience is a must. If you're not patient, because some things may happen out of your control, you may give up altogether. A patient goal setter usually achieves their goals at a much higher rate. So you want to have patience with the process. In order for me to be an authority channel, it's going to take me a while. I want to get about, I want to get over a thousand videos for this channel for you guys. So that's going to take some time. I'm not going to say, okay, I'm going to do 50 videos a day over 20 20 day period because that'll take way too much time and the quality might not be there. I might be sacrificing quality to give you the videos that I want to put out there. Know what works and adjust if need be. Sometimes your attempts at achieving a goal may be counterproductive. When this happens, it, it's time to do some minor tweaks to get you on the right path. So don't be afraid to adjust along the way. Sometimes you might be doing something that's counterproductive. You might be doing it all wrong. You might be um, trying to do it by yourself when you might need help. You might need to make one small minor tweak. And that one small minor tweak might get you the momentum you need to get. I noticed that in my channel that a lot of how-to videos gets a lot of traffic. So I, if you notice, there's a lot of how-to's in the title. Reward yourself with each goal you accomplish. If it's minor or major, reward yourself to keep you motivated and keep you knocking these goals out. So you might have a minor victory or a major victory. You want to make sure that you're rewarding yourself each time in order to stay motivated. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my mailing list where you get the free ebook, The Confidence Skyscraper, where you get that solid foundation of real confidence. Links are in the description box. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share this video if you have people who are big procrastinators or they just want to better be better goal setters. Anyway, that's for me today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.